What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. Fortunately enough, this episode, episode 7 of Satisfactory series, we'd be switching over to update 6 of Satisfactory on the experimental branch. Some of you guys, well, some of you guys may know the date that I record is every Tuesday. But fortunately enough, the release of update 6 for Satisfactory on the experimental branch actually f lined up with my recording date so i actually record this episode the same day that update 6 was released on experimental so as you guys can see with my hood there is some stuff that changed we now have a hide button for our tools finally i really wanted that that's gonna help on taking screenshots and thumbnails uh other than that yeah that's about it for stuff there's a couple other stuff that they added if you guys <coughs> like to check that out i'd put a link to the update video in the description you guys may also know that they will probably see that there are some changes to my channel uh actually i did all those changes today the date of recording this so from now on all my uh subscribers and stuff all you guys names would later subscriber would pop up down below right so the plan for today was actually what the frick I remember seeing that effect. Plan for today was actually to optimize the <coughs> iron building and uh, probably put some walls and stuff around this building also. A couple building. I need to get signs. I literally need to get signs. Let me see what is that. <laughs> That's actually in quotes, interesting. Watch this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. That's far down the line. Just checking out some of the additions they added in. Oh, 50 steel pipes. I should be able to get that. I have to run to my steel building to get that. I can get that too. Awesome. also, Alien Organs now has a different look. and some different functions Ooh. Hmm. i can make alien protein from the hogs and the spitters oh i can actually show you guys one of the new stuff that they added uh them quartz and stuff the proteins already i have so much of spitter stuff on me what the frick yes i do jeez right uh take off my lights let's run over to the <coughs> just gonna take a quick run here i'm gonna run over to the power plant i remember last episode if you guys <coughs> 
missed the last episode link would be down well there'll be a playlist link in the video on the card above I also did this before I ended after I ended the episode loss I forgot one oh, whatever Run up to a power plant, I remember last let me pull out my um Sapper because I remember from the um updates that there has been an update to the f insects in the game. I forgot what the actual name for them is. I just saw it a while ago and I forgot. Oh, where is it? There's one right around here. There's also a spitter around here, too. Did they move it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, frick. Please, please, please. No, 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 Alright. There it is. Oh. Did not expect that, but yeah, the new update is this. It's a new look for the fly trap thing. So, if you guys missed what that does, it always infinitely spawns um it was annoying little flies that I had to deal with just now until you destroy that. So that's pretty disturbing. Oh, pretty disturbing. Unless you can get it as quick as I did just now, you're screwed. Also, there was a sp um, fire spitter around here. That was kind of glitched last episode. Was this always there? We can find a fire spitter, a little fire spitter friend. But, uh, oh, there's another one. Hmm, apparently he moved. Uh, interesting. And also, you do regenerate out. As you can see, I'm slowly regenerating health at the bottom. I lost three um, bars of health early on. Never can get this um, umbrella from without triggering the. Ooh. Also, some other changes. I did, in fact, switch editing software between episodes. So, you guys might see some little bit of a change in the style of my editing between this episode and the last one. Oh, also I need to reconnect this. Might run that under here.
Okay, I'm wondering how I have one arm connector within the tree. I actually overclocked that mining facility, that drill. I overclocked that maxed. And I also upgraded the bell that's feeding into this split at uh, level 2. Mark 2 belt. It would equally feed all three. You know? If you guys were wondering what happened there. Okay, let's. Uh, wait. In this here, uh, this I think is for the plates, yeah. So I may have to. How much does this have? For this, I may have to upgrade, boost this one a little. I just boost it twice. Because it's two, two times. Uh, also, I would like to figure out how the frick you get those walls with the um. Okay, this one is a bit doable. I don't have this yet, which I need. This one, which I wasn't doing well in the first place. Ay 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 ay. We are going to have to either make a separate... I think that's what we're going to have to do. And I know just where to do that. Down by the um, steel factory, there's a spot where there's three... Um, three iron nodes down there. Set this as a milestone, uh, and also let's set up what we're gonna build. We're gonna need at least three miners, uh, four smelters. That's uh, four is only the ones for um screws and add two more so that's six that's all we need for that and we need uh two assemblers need uh five storage containers okay okay so we need some reinforced iron plates uh, a little bit and only eight rotors. Wow, didn't expect it to only be eight rotors. Need three of these.
Too much you can actually get. More, six. Oh no. One more. We need to get more rods. Alright, uh, we're gonna run, get some rods, uh, reinforce and plate. Screws, we need to get screws, which I definitely need to get more rods. Uh, let's run and get that. Hopefully we have some, we should have at least 200 rods. I might come back and optimize this building like adding two smelters instead of having one supply tree or I could probably just boost this one. to make the there's no design plates 11 out of 28 oh. roughly I'm not gonna even try to calculate that 11 I wasn't gonna calculate it, but then I decided to, so I don't know exactly how much. It's a simple calculation, I just was not in a mood to do that. Uh, we're possibly out of. Yeah. It's. I did a bit of um, quick optimization there.
Right, we have enough to do our stuff. Uh, protest. Uh, da, da. It's coming around that about that time for the usual bill montage. What the hell is in the script here? Ah, I just picked up. It's about that time again, guys. Bill montage time. Chunk of quartz here. I have, should have enough, change that should be enough. Alright, let's run over to the uh, steel area. We're gonna build a dedicated iron factory to um, produce rotors and reinforced plates. While the one up here is producing rotors and reinforced plates, which is going towards producing the uh, smart plating. I have to reconnect so that I don't um, pull from that factory itself. I'm gonna separate, and then I might in the future I might actually switch this factory down here to produce something else to go towards the um to go to the space elevator. But that's gonna be further down in the future. Probably gonna be a couple episodes. So I got my thing just in case there's uh right on here. Whoa, there's four. Okay. That's one per smelter. Could be one per smelter, but I only calculated for three smelters. back and come back do that later on Let's see did i calculate uh ice smelters what <laughs> the hell do i have ice smelters something's wrong here there's probably a bug it says five smelters but i have three miners on my um to do list now it's saying four, right? There it is. It, it glitched a bit there. I cut the frick. Yeah, I calculated for three miners, four smelters. If I had four miners, I would have to make another portable miner. But for now, let's um put down a tree. Uh, you're gonna face this way.
All right, guys, <laughs> you kind of saw there. I may have broken everything there. Uh, let's just turn them back on a bit. I have to go and uh, do that. Cut the stone back to one. See that to turn back on long enough. Alright, I did say we were going to have some power issues eventually. Uh, well, we may have popped up a fuse there during the build montage. Uh, so I'm gonna run up there, quick fix that, and then, yeah, probably wrap up the building off camera. So, yeah, so we're doing a two story, so I'm kind of out of dates at the moment. And that's why we're trying to overclock so I get more plates faster. Probably reconnect the two bio bio fuel generators for a bit. Uh, let those work for a bit so I can jump start my power grid. I may have to uh, expand the power grid again. I did expand the power grid last episode with two new cool uh, generators so I may have to whoa, do some work on that we are two more go generators for now we're gonna add some um connect the bio fuel burners from the um hub back to the power grid it add like I think that's 40 40 watts or something add that back to the grid uh so we have some power get stuff keep running have stuff running uh once that's done uh we'd probably in the i will wait for that we'll probably run back to this uh iron factory steel factory but steel slash iron factory down there uh to finish up the conveyance system and we won't power it just yet we'll just finish up the conveyance system and then we'll work on um powering the ones that we actually need uh, for now let's uh plug these two things back into the power grid i have this power pole here just for this uh, situation Goes on in. That should keep us running for a bit. Uh, let's uh, grab whatever it's white. Is that a new color when it's overclocked? Not noticed that. This one too, it's also white. Interesting. Alright, let's grab that 200 there. These two machines are overclocked, and I think the yeah, those are over. the whole thing up here is overclocked. So that's probably what's giving me an issue. Let's uh, run back down here uh, because down here I have rotors and reinforced iron plates. Is what I'm hooking up down at the steel factory. Let's run back to the steel factory, get the finished hook up that. Probably just hook up the. See if I can get two of them to be powered. I might have to underclock some of them. I'll probably run back up here and underclock. Or just get the rotors to be thing. Or at least get the screws down here because I do have two screw stuff down here. See if I can get at least the screws to be running. 
basics to be running so I can grab it from there and craft. I may want to craft a crafting bench down here. Because running back up there to craft is going to be very sickening. So I may want to craft a crafting bench here also. Right back to here where we're doing some a bit of a advanced work. Um, probably just thought of that. Can you use some? Let me take take one overclock from each. I already took the one from here. This one could do with the other. I take one overclock from both of those. Uh, we're gonna drop that in the power station when we go to put when we go down there to check that. Let's finish up down here. Yes, I did forget to get the um, thing for the other one down here. Uh, let's see. Like that, to fix that issue. Right, uh... This one, take from that one and put there. Interesting conveyor system.
And let's uh, not lay around for a bit. Let's connect these guys up. Oh, I forgot I can't pass between these four sets. Convey up these guys here. Uh, Let's leave it just as it is right now, the bottom one connected. I'm going around the power lines to this side here. I haven't entered the recipe in any of them other than the first line which is making the plates. Uh, before we enter the recipes in those guys, we're gonna run to the power plant and overclock the last two coal generators we put in there. I forgot that you can actually overclock the coal generators, which is what I should have done instead of overclocking the Instead of overclocking the um, stuff, I'm also going to pass through my the main base, and we're going to pick up the I think at least two more. Where the hell is it? Yeah, I run so fast. It's got run over. And pick up at least two more um power shards. I can make more power shards. I'm going to make two more power shards, and we're going to drop that in. I'm gonna give the last two um co power plants, the last two that I put down last episode. I'm gonna give those two guys two power shards each. So those guys got double overclocked. And we got some more power. We leave the bio burners on for now. So we build the next two power stations. Uh power shards. Right, let's just run to the power plant and get this done. I honestly really like how they added a hide button for the um for whatever you have in your hand. Really helps. I don't always want to be running around with a Zeno Basha in my hand every twenty four seven. It was really helpful to actually add in that hot key key bind. Probably have so much modular frames right now, it's annoying. Probably do not a power shot up here.
That's what's going on. We have no um, water. This is an issue when power goes out, the water becomes very unstable. Like we are getting water to them, but they is only half. Hmm. It's nice here. Did not think I was gonna get that issue, did he? Accidentally add another one on top of that one. The nearest pump is way down there. If I add a pump here, I might get some more. Um, Fucking two rotors, I get at me. Funny enough, that's the amount I can actually craft right now. Alright, let's try this out here. Add a pump here. This is helping with the flow rate. This last pump on this was actually further down the hill, which, which is quite down there if you can see it from here. I draw my cursor, that's where the last pump is on the line. And it has to go up a decent grade up before it reaches a level playing field. Hopefully having that pump there boosts the um, amount of water going into my four power plants. Let's see? It's running. It has water, not as much as I thought it would have. I think the issue here is we may need some more water pumps. <laughs> Oh, freaking hell, man. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm gonna run quick, do this. Uh, probably do it off camera. And also... Finish up by the... Finish up down by the factory was building. And I'll get back to you guys once it's done. Luckily for you guys, it's only going to be a couple of seconds, but it's probably going to be like a whole hour, oh, half an hour for me. Ah, here we go. Ah. 
Hi right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> it took like almost, say, like almost an hour just to get the power stable. Holy friggin' hell, man. <laughs> so what I did during that hour is I was playing around the water trying to get the, the flow one direction because I had it flowing two directions into, from two locations into the, um, the four power plants, which was coming from two different sides of the pipe connections, pipe area. Uh, now I have everything flowing from one direction. I have a gazillion bajillion pumps on it. Well, not so much. I just moved around some of the pump locations to optimize the piping system. Now I have two pumps in this lake here, which I didn't have any pumps here before, so I added a pump here and brought the one that was across by the coal power plant over here too. I mean water extractors and the pump that was across there brought it to put it on that line to stop the water from back flowing into the pump into the extractors then I have another pump another extractor you guys watch episode 3, you know where that one is. That one is way, way across in the distance. There's another extractor. There's a couple pumps on the line from there. That one's over there somewhere behind the space elevator. That's the change. Yes, I know this is here. What's here? <coughs> I haven't gotten a chance yet to actually... Finish up the iron building across there. I'm going to do that now, actually. So, I should run across there, finish up the iron building, and wrap up the episode. And a very weird uh, episode. Had some major power issue because I decided to do a bunch of overlap in this episode. Uh, next episode, we will be probably looking for coal area, not coal, um, quartz. Next episode, we'll be looking for quartz. Uh, we'll be also doing some exploration also to find quartz and might set up a quartz area or not. Or we might just mark it. Either quartz or sulfur, whichever one we decide to do next episode. That's the aim for next episode. Uh, other than that, that's about it for next. Might also make a, another tractor next episode. This one is currently running the coal for the um, steel. The yeah, um, steel production. This is going to be a kind of an interesting way to configure this here.
Right. That'll be it for the episode. You guys enjoyed. The episode. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to drop us a like, that subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell icon. If you guys want to see more, do the same. As factory videos every Saturdays. Next episode, we'll be probably finishing up, making sure the power grid is stable, and some other stuff next episode. If you guys enjoyed, just want to see more. As I said, like, subscribe. Subscribe. See you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Ooh, long episode.